Hey everyone, Chris, the Thrift Shop Hustler, and we're going to have another episode of what sold on eBay for February 2019. Once again, I'm Chris, the Thrift Shop Hustler. Definitely go down there and click the subscribe button if you haven't already. We're going to go over some of the items that we sold this week. We actually had a really good week. Uh, lots of varieties of items, all different kinds of things. Uh, so stay tuned. Watch the whole show. You never know. Uh, what you might find and get inspired to look for and basically uh, you know knowledge is power and the more you learn the more you earn so let's get right into it uh, first up we have this David Yarman diamond heart stealing silver necklace 16 inches uh, this is actually a really sweet piece uh, we took a best offer for two something on this and for those that don't know David Yarman uh, look does up that is definitely a bolo brand he's no most known for these kind of weird uh looking chokers than than more like necklaces but he does do a lot of silver and gold jewelry uh david yearman is definitely a brand uh you should look out for go and look at the comps on some of those pieces uh, some of the vintage pieces too are really nice uh next up we have this tokyo pop rave master now we mentioned this before in our top 10 best sellers for january uh, we had to go back a little bit because i missed a lot of these sales so if you didn't watch that video i'm gonna leave a link up here if i can remember to that video but definitely tokyo pop rave master this was a huge lot of manga comics that came in uh, a lot of these were scanning between seven to twelve dollars on amazon there was a few of these in the sets that were going for sixty to eighty dollars so i decided i'm just going to put the whole lot together and uh, we did take a best offer for 200 on this with five dollars uh i don't know why i said 14.99 shipping on this i think i shipped this media mail uh, i gotta actually go and check back but i think this went media mail and i highly suggest anyone that sells books especially it sets uh definitely do media mail it'll save you a bunch of money uh, you just can't, you know, ship magazines and things with advertisings in it. So just be careful what you're doing if you're going to be using media mail. Uh, but we had this huge uh, lot of mangas that came in. And for those that don't know, mangas like these little, uh, they almost look like graphic novels, little paperback graphic novels. And we get these in actually a, a pretty good amount over the over the year. Uh, we had this huge collection that came in. And like I said, a lot of them were scanning between uh, 7 and $12. And we actually put them out on the floor uh, the other ones for a dollar so whoever came up someone came and bought them all and we talked about that before in the last video so um, I'm still putting out really cool st stuff in the shop so if you come by and stop by uh, the address is below if you're ever in Burbank California come and uh, check out the shop but anyways this was a really good sale uh, I think what did it was those couple of them that were like 60 to 80 dollars I want to say they were in the 20s or the 30s. There was the higher numbers that were the more, more expensive ones. Uh, so always scan manga books when you find them at thrift shops for sure. Uh, next up, we have this Wee Forest Folk Moon Mouse. Now, Wee Forest Folk, uh, they do a lot of these little mice and thing figures, but this is actually a, a really cool astronaut figure one. Um, this one, um, I think there was a best offer on this one, I'm not mistaken. Uh, but this one sold, I think, uh, so we did, I think this one was a best offer or actually this one did sell for 75. My apologies. This wasn't my listing. Uh, so just look out for we forest folk. This is what the, um, a lot of the bottoms will look like. They look like they're pretty much like hand cast and hand painted and things like this. Uh, so definitely look out for those. Uh, next up we have this boy scouts, Jamboree Washington booklet from 1937, um, there's lots of great kind of little booklets that I always find at estate sales and things like that. And, you know, a lot of people want a quarter or 50 cents. Uh, if you can buy some of these kind of little booklets, uh, a, a super bolos, if you can find alcoholic anonymous books from the thirties and the forties, uh, just look those up. If you want, you want your, your, your mind to be blown. Uh, but anyways, these little, uh, booklets and things like this, I come across this kind of stuff all the time, but um, these was on a bid and this one went for $18. So check out Boy Scout stuff. Uh, next up we have this Black Star Frost Small Sterling Silver uh, 925 Creamer. This was a little tiny thing and I don't think I, I measured, I put a measuring tape, but this one weighed in at 56 grams. 
and uh, I want to say that's two ounces exactly. I'm not sh too sure with my math, but uh, this we started this one at 9.95, and uh, it went all the way up to 45.77. This was a sterling silver piece, solid all the way through. Uh, really tiny, really tiny piece, but it sold. Uh, we get a lot of silver stuff in. Uh, all the time like I, I can't I can imagine just the other like I can imagine Goodwill gets tons of silver and uh, all the time but you never see it because it's usually put online uh, and speaking of silver we got another silver lot here this actually sold today this was listed today and sold in a few hours I took a best offer for $30 on this it was about uh, 86 grams of silver 925 these are part of a napkin uh, set here as we can see uh, actually it's a little dark um, you can't really <laughs> you can't really see the napkins I I, I got a uh, we we had a camera that was donated and I, I, I fixed it and I've been trying to tinker with the lighting but uh, like I said we get a ton of silver in um, definitely look for the the hallmark here of 925 uh, this was also had another little Sun look like a Sun and a moon Hallmark, I couldn't quite figure out, or Maker's Mark, I couldn't quite figure out what that was. So, uh, but anyways, we took a best offer for thirty dollars plus nine 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 shipping just to get this out the door. This is a really quick turnaround. Silver, gold, platinum is super fast turnaround. So always be on the lookout for that. Obviously. Uh, next up, we have this Laurel Piana, one of my favorite clothing brands that we like to sell. We sell a ton of Laurel Piana. Um, we had a huge donation that came in. Uh, like a few months ago that I'm still going through just bags of this stuff, but uh, this sold I think we, I want to say we took a best offer for 60 on this Maybe it's a really actually cool uh, nice little sweater jacket And so uh, this is actually went to a good home and you know, I could totally this is a really I thought this was a really cool sweater And Laurel Piana for those who don't know that's what the tag looks like Keep an eye out for this. I really highly doubt you're gonna find this stuff at thrift stores Laurel Piana is more like an estate sale uh, brand that you should look out for and for the most part estate sales know you know what this stuff is worth so um, definitely look out for that brand oh this is a fun one this is a 1997 sealed Texas Instruments calculator um, I was visiting a shop in Long Beach the other day and uh, I saw this uh, when I was taking a tour of the shop I found this just sitting in a pile of other little doodads and uh, I think this thing was like mark like four dollars or three dollars or something like that and I scanned it and <laughs> I think there was like I think the comps or at least the price on Amazon for this thing was like two hundred dollars so I was like whoa uh, anyways I pulled it we put it on the shop uh, I took a best offer for forty five dollars on this thing and uh, probably could have went for more I had it at seventy four ninety nine and we had a uh, sale uh, Monday. I think I'm going to do sales now from now on on Mondays. Uh, we see some pretty good upticks in uh, in sales when I do a markdown manager sale on a Monday. I usually just do it for 24 hours and for selected items, but uh, we did take a best offer for this for 45 and uh, it's going to go to a home and and from almost 20, actually it's 20 years old, uh, this thing still works. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next up, we have this Donna Karen Purple Iris Sweet, uh, Sequin a cashmere silk midi dress uh, this is actually really cool to to photograph i mean it was fun to photograph it wasn't fun trying to put this thing on the man the mannequin <laughs> we don't have we have basically a torso mannequin oh yeah by the way look at the price on the tags on this thing twenty four hundred dollars uh we took a best offer for 200 this thing was this thing was just sitting forever um but you know uh, we had it on sale and you know it's one of those things where uh, it's it'll go to a good home and and I'm sure someone will either you know wear this or resell this but uh, We did take a best offer for two something on this dress. It was a really really nice dress uh, Next up we have this copper pot saucepan tin lined made in France uh, We get actually a ton of cookware and most of it's usually uh, stuff. We can't repurpose so uh, it was cool to see like a old vintage pot come in and, and you know get two bids at least on it for $28 plus $19.99 shipping uh, these things are really super awkward to ship these kind of weird sizes and things like that but uh, uh, cookware like clothing always sells all year long so definitely know your uh, cookware for sure 
Uh, next up, we have this Landvin Paris woman's top blouse. Uh, this is one of the first things I photographed when I got the job here. And uh, you can tell by the silver curtains <laughs> and the, the really like uh, their, their torso. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is a man's mannequin. <laughs> and I didn't even realize it till I was done with like, I took like, I took like a couple hours doing photographs. And then I realized at the end that I, I used a, a male mannequin. So <laughs> that was like the first day on the job. And just, I was just like, you know what? I got to get a new mannequin. I got to get a new background. I got to redo this whole thing. Cause it's not working. Anyways, uh, Landvin's definitely, uh, this is what the tag looks like is another Bolo brand. Um, you're probably not going to find these at thrift stores, but you know, as uh, this is basically, uh, let's call these kind of brands like estate sale labels, that's what we'll do from now on. We'll call these kind of brands that I that I know for sure. You're going to find more of these at estate sales than you're going to find in thrift stores for sure. Uh, next up, we have these uh, vintage industrial glasses. Uh, Timis safety glasses. Um, don't pass these up. I, I've came across a few of these this year alone. Uh, they're safety glasses from the 50s and the 60s and I think they actually made these in the 30s and the 40s also uh, look out for these they, they're very quick sellers there's this whole I use the steampunk uh, label or the we call it uh, the steam steampunk tag in my title keyword I should say I don't know what I'm saying uh, these things sell pretty crazy just put steampunk and glasses in eBay and then do best or solds and you'll be you'll be surprised on some of the, the stuff that you'll find. And I come across this stuff all the time. Uh, next up we have this Acris black pattern long wool blazer coat. Um, this is another let's just call let's just call this one again, another estate sale brand label Acris. Uh, I've have found this brand before at thrift shop so it's not you know you're not going to entirely not going to find this brand but this is another high-end brand at chris a chris whatever you want to say um definitely look out for this stuff i think it took a best offer for 60 dollars on this thing and once again this is the very old uh very first few days of photography with the silver <laughs> curtains i hate those things uh, we had to like <laughs> we I don't know where those curtains ended up, but they're they're in the depths of somewhere, <laughs> buried deep underground. Uh, and then of course this mannequin was just I just uh, I wasn't know I didn't know what I was doing. Like I said, I, I I dodged selling clothes for so long, but now I'm like literally in love with uh, photography and selling clothes. Like it's actually kind of funny. Uh, next up we have this uh, Rock Newcomb uh, acrylic painting. This is actually super amazing. Southwest art. Uh, Native American art is always, you know, it's getting back into vogue, I would say. In the 70s, you know, there was a lot of turquoise jewelry being sold. But this is actually an amazing painting. And we talked about this before in that other video that I referenced in the beginning of this video. Uh, this painting is amazing. And I'm going to do more videos on art. Uh, and by the way, I did a, another art video. And we'll put a link up there if I can remember. Anyways, I think I took a best offer for 300 on this. Um, it's probably worth maybe about $800 if I was to actually put it in as like an, uh, an insurance value on this. I would probably put $800 on this. I put it at sixteen just to see $1,600 just to see if it would sell at that price. Uh, I do the high-low theory on a lot of my art. Uh, especially you know if it's something that hasn't been priced and what my high low theory is really quick before we get into the other things is always price high and then you can always bring the price down if you price too low and it sells too fast you'll never know if you were able to get that high price uh, like I said I sold some statues uh, last year a couple years ago for five thousand dollars that um, I marked those at like ten thousand dollars to start off with and not knowing that they were even worth that much but someone gave me a best offer for two 2500 for both of them and so uh the high low theory definitely use it uh, anyways this is an amazing painting whoever got this painting got an amazing deal and uh i love the wood frame that it was in it was such a beautiful frame let me show you the back the back was even um inscribed with uh, a little passage and about the the pottery piece and this is a, it was actually a really good painting a really awesome painting 
Uh, next up, we have this Wonder Workshop Dash Robot. We get a lot of weird odds and ends, toys and things that come in. Uh, this is one I pulled off the line. Uh, I looked this up and they were going for like 60 to $70, like with all the pieces. Uh, this one wasn't tested. It, it was a little banged up, but maybe someone has the remote control for this. Anyways, I, I took a best offer for $10 for this with $13.99 shipping. Uh, this fit perfectly in a like a one of those six by six by six boxes and uh, off it went to its due home really quick and I'm sure someone needed a replacement for this uh, Wonder Workshop Dash Robot. If I had everything complete uh, I probably could have got a hundred dollars for this with all the other stuff that goes with it but it's miss it was missing so many different things but this is the main power unit the main robot right here. Uh, this sold actually really fast after listening it. Uh, next up, we have the Sasha Cohen U.S. Olympic uh, signed autograph roots hat. This was from 2012. Uh, we get a lot of cool autograph stuff in. As a matter of fact, I have some stuff to list tomorrow, uh, golf stuff that came in. A lot of people actually donate stuff to the shop that's signed and has autographs. And uh, I have my own particular authentication process that I go through. Uh, I've been doing autograph kind of stuff for years, so uh, I should probably do a video on autograph on authentication. Uh, not, you know, everyone's, you can probably pass a bad autograph off to even the experts, but there's lots of tricks and tips uh, that I can probably share with you guys to determine whether or not uh, something's questionable or if it's a legit signature. And like, there's not a lot of people that are going to, uh, forge Sasha Cohen's signature. It's not like a Babe Ruth signature or something like that that has extreme value uh, to it. But uh, this was a cool hat, and of course we uh, took some. I took some nice photographs uh, with the new lighting setup and uh, <laughs> the mannequin head. I finally was able to use it for something. But anyways, uh, this sold for seventy four ninety nine pretty fast after uh, listing it. I think it was up for like a day. This was actually a really cool. Uh, hat had the tags and all that and it was signed by Sasha Cohen which I think is a figure skater yeah uh, next up we have this uh, Mox M musk ox from Greenland Inuit soapstone sculpture uh, we talked about this also in the video this was actually one of the one of the best uh, sales uh, we had in January um, this was uh, I think I took a best offer for 400 on this uh, I would say the the insurance value on this maybe between six hundred and nine hundred dollars. Uh, soapstone sculptures are really uh, in demand in certain areas. Uh, Inuit, just search Inuit soapstone and search by completed auctions, and you guys will be blown away. I love art. Like I I, I really think like uh, art is definitely my niche when it comes to reselling. Uh, I'm starting to get to to know that more and more. Um, as the years are going by and it's kind of funny because a lot of people don't know anything about art so they always pass it up at the thrift stores and uh, I've came across four or five hundred dollar paintings that I've got at Goodwill that were just buried in crap so um, yeah I think I'm gonna be doing more videos on that it's pretty interesting anyways uh, we've sold a pretty good amount of art this month so uh, we're pretty happy uh, like I said this thing weighed like 16 pounds or something ridiculous soap stone is so heavy it's super heavy uh, next up we have this disney store grumpy no white in the seven drawer set from disney store um we took a i think i took a best offer for 30 something on this plus 19.99 shipping i had to frankenstein a box together uh one of the things is i'm starting to have a crazy box collection because I swear, and for anyone that's reselling, you'll know the pain that you go through when you can't find the right size box for a certain thing. Uh, it's either going to be just too, way too big or just, just small enough where the item's going to get damaged if you try to cram it in there. So I had to Frankenstein a box together uh, for this one. We have uh, really cool art boxes for framed pieces. I think it's like a 20 by 24 by 4 or something ridiculous like that. It's like a pretty much a huge pizza box that's about four inches deep uh, for a lot of our paintings because we sell a lot of paintings. Uh, so yeah, anyways, uh, this is a really cool piece. Disney stuff's always in demand. Uh, next up, we have this Donna Karen scarf sequin uh, cashmere uh, scarf wrap, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we sold, I, I listed like, I want to say I listed like six of these a, a one day that there was a 
uh, a donated bag of these that I went through. There's a lot of there was a lot of Donna Karen uh, sequin stuff, and we actually have uh, that like that like that dress we just sold. Uh, there was a lot of that kind of stuff. So uh, this is a quick sale that took a best offer for uh, twenty five dollars just to get it out the door, and uh, it'll make someone happy for sure. Uh, next up is this uh, these nineteen ninety eight Princess Diana music boxes. Uh, I was so happy to get rid of these. They were just one of the things that were left over from a previous employee. Um, the for, the photographs weren't bad or anything like that. It was just these these things had these huge. They weren't even that big, but they had these huge like blocks of foam that were just taking up space on the shelf. So I took a best offer for twenty dollars and uh, got rid of this thing. Uh, Princess Diana stuff was huge back in the day. Uh, not so much anymore. Um, yeah, even the Princess Diana Beanie Baby is not even worth anything. It's kind of funny. People think that when they see that, they think it's like worth over a thousand dollars. And I should make a video alone just on the Princess Diana Bear. Uh, next up, we have this vintage Ben Franklin mug picture thing. <laughs> I didn't list this. I don't know anything about this, but it's kind of funny and kind of strange. Uh, I, is this thing a lamp or what is this thing? I guess it it is a lamp. Well. I wouldn't, I don't know. I guess I wouldn't put any liquid in this thing for sure, but uh, maybe, I don't know. It's so weird. Anyways, this sold for $32 and 50 cents. Um, all these kind of weird little uh, character mugs, I swear. They're, they're just very creepy. Uh, next up, we have Tiffany and Company. We love Tiffany and Company. We sold a few Tiffany and Company things last year. Uh, this is the first Tiffany and Company thing we sold this year. This clock was a little uh, mantle desk clock. It was super heavy. It was like almost three pounds for this little clock. Uh, it was in horrible condition. I thought about buying this myself and then refurbishing it, like painting it and making it all funky. Uh, I should have. I should have did that. But anyways, I, I I just I we sold it. We took a best offer for uh, I think twenty five dollars on this. It works and everything like that. And so uh, definitely go and check out Tiffany and Company stuff. Get familiar with that name. Uh, there's some really cool items that go for extremes amount of money if you can find them. Uh, Tiffany and Company is usually one of those things that you're gonna. It's gonna. It's pretty much another estate sale label. But you know, I, I've come across Tiffany silver Tiffany Company silver things at thrift shops. But they know what it is. But you, you're gonna pay a little up for that. Uh, next up, we have this Amazon file uh, file. Fire seventh generation uh, tablet. This was a brand new open box. We got a donation of a few of these in. Uh, the rest of them were all sealed, but this was the only one that was open. I guess someone might have opened it just to see what was inside. Uh, but anyways, we took a best offer for twenty dollars plus thirteen ninety nine shipping. Uh, we get some electronic. We get actually some pretty uh, funky electronics in sometimes uh, and stuff like that. So there's that. Uh, next up, we <laughs> speaking of the word electronics, we get in. Uh, next up is this easy, easy backup. <laughs> this thing just like was this, I don't know what year this was from, but look at this dude. Isn't this the creepiest dude you've ever seen on packaging? Like this girl, uh, just, 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 <laughs> this whole thing is just, just wrong. Okay. Here's it is. Creepy dude, smiling girl, easy backup. Just plug it in. <laughs> I don't know why this thing made me just like this. Anyways, this was a uh, external hard drive. Uh, it was uh, an older piece, 160 gigabytes, or I think that's what it was. Hold it. Hold on a second here. That would be like totally. Oh no! Here, yeah, 160 gigabytes. I thought it was kind of a strange uh, data amount. Uh, I'm glad it's not 16 gigabytes and just. <clears throat> Anyways, this is I'm curious at Thrift Shop Hustler. I, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. There's more, but forget it. <laughs> uh, once again, I'm Chris Thrift Shop Hustler. Definitely, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, definitely click the like button, subscribe for another. I'm losing my voice. It's like super late at night. Anyways, uh, leave a comment below. Just say anything. To to be honest, I don't care. <laughs> we'll see you next time.